Skr, skr. Somewhere in this whole world got a place called Singapore. Eh, sorry, got a place called Singapore. Eh, apa ini? <coughs> one more time, one more time. Got a place called Singapore. But then, oh, who, what, when, when, why, how can this be allowed? Flashback. In the year 100 plus 50, quick math. A great man, Ptolemy, who was a mathematician, astronomer, geographer, and actual ayah, overachiever lah. Drew a map of the world. People think that this sabana is actually Singapore. The very first time Singapore appeared in history book was the Chinese calling it Wu Wuzhong. But no, 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 no. Actually, the name is Pulau Wuzhong. Pulau Ujong ah! Wow! You know I hear people say they saw cannibals with six inch tails leh! Can we don't go there? Pulau Ujong is now the Masek Hall. A shriver giant prince aka Sangina Utama supposed to be hunting on Bintan. But one the Kepo, an island he saw far far away. But see Kepo until cannot wreck by storm law, then have to throw his gold crown away. Golden shirt cannot wear. Finally reached the Masek, he was greeted by a red body, black head, white belly. Huh? What's that? Lion! But it's actually but he don't care. He named it Lion City. For the next hundred years, the kingdom of Singapura grew as a trading port because they friend friend with the Yuan Dynasty. They became so popular, everybody mm, wanted yeah. a piece of them. But there was no more piece of them because Majapahi cooked the whole piece of them. The animal never eat, just left them there to rot. But hey, the Malacca Sultan took control until the Portuguese came and burned them down. Malacca Sultan run them fast, go Johor, established the Johor Sultanate, and took them in again. Until the Portuguese came Round two. and burned them down to the ground again. Probably them seeing the Portuguese burning them down, people just left the island and the Masai become Ulu Ulu for 200 years. Is the Angmo? The British won a point in Southeast Asia to control the opium trade route between China and British control India. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, yes. A natural deep harbor, fresh water supplies, timber for repairing ships, all the making of a great port. So the British took over Singapore and created a free port. People like cheap stuff. So the port, voila! Everybody wanna come here, trade here, settle down here. Population was great, economy was great. Everything was going. Breaking news. The Japanese have invaded Singapore. Breaking news. The British have surrendered. Breaking news. Singapore is now under Japanese control and is now. They introduced Sukching, Death Railway, Starvation, Inflation, Tolong. The Amos are now back, but people forgive, never forget. Singapore cannot pang say during the war, now Britain wanna come back, pretend like nothing happened. No way, man. So, Singapore break out of Britain and decided to go steady in Malaysia instead. But this rebound was rocky from the start. They call each other names, eh. Fight here, fight there. Then Malaysia one day, Tabuli Tahan, took Singapore out of the Union. Lee Kuan Yew shed a tear, but he said, Nah, my, watch what Lim Pei can do. So Lee Kuan Yew and his clique went on a rapid development spree. Singapore started stacking his house like Lego, building factories and infrastructures as fast as possible and better than all his neighbor. They built the world's best airport and a train system that totally runs smoothly all the time. They built a military and uh uh, forced every 18 year male to join. Singapore became better, educated, and more. Everyone started to work more but have less sex. So the birth rate. Then how? Ayah, you ask me, I ask who. I only know that's been 1869 years in 4 minutes. Okay, bye.